In this video, I am going to teach you that how you can install the NCS 2024 release 2 uh, professional version. In my other video, I explained the procedure to install uh, Astronaut version. Okay, so there is difference in the installation, so I will explain that. So first of all, we will go to the our folder where I have stored my uh, NCS installation media. Okay, so first step is that uh, like you will get the files in this form, whatever method you have uh, like uh, used to download the installation medium from the ANSYS website or uh, through some channel partner or whatever method you used. Okay, so the December one, right click here and uh, simply click on the mount. Okay, then click on the back symbol and go back to the original folder and right click on second. Uh, disk and again click on the mount and similarly for third disk you have to mount that one as well and you will see that we have the now three new drives appear in this pc okay so just leave it for the same time being uh, then before i go further first thing is that i will be going to the uh, i will be going to the windows defender okay so windows security and this step is very very much important without this step uh, you will not be able to install the uh, ANSYS okay so go to the uh, virus and threat protection and uh, then you have to go to the many settings from virus and threat uh, protection settings click here uh, then you have to go to extrusions and click on the add or remove extrusion so there are many options that you can use in the extrusion so we will use the uh, a folder option so add a folder and the first thing that I will do is that I will be putting the my complete software folder into extrusion so that the uh, no file will be deleted uh, mistakenly by the Windows Defender or any other antivirus okay so right now my antivirus is a built-in uh, Windows security or antivirus system is a bit defender so uh, for second folder this is the ansys folder on the c drive i will come back after installing the uh, the license manager okay so now uh, you will go if you go to the like uh, uh, into the uh, this folder you will see there is a file read me so uh, you have to install first ansys license manager okay for that i will go to the drive number g on my computer and your computer it can be a different one so double click here on setup and uh, you have to install the ANSYS license manager okay and if you have already installed the license manager for any other version or for this version also because on my computer I already installed the 2024 so this will actually stop the license manager and override that one but if this is the old one then it will install the new one as well so click on install ANSYS license manager okay next 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 and next that's all okay now it is requiring that you uh, provide the second uh, uh, installation media so that can be the like a uh, next one this uh, on my computer is the h and the uh, i and the j sometimes this can be the h and i or any other letter okay so you have to browse and Definitely the first one you already installed from the the, the the ANSYS license manager. So definitely you, have, you will go for the next two, okay? So first try the H and if it does not work, it will ask you to provide the next one, okay? Okay, it cannot go to the like uh, H, so I will now give the, th the third one. It is working now. So this is the way, okay? and enter the installation directory number 3 okay now i will be giving the g okay next one is the h so this time this sometimes this, this may make some issues okay so you have to be very patient and give the uh, among three okay all, all from the three options of g h and j and your computers can be the different one Okay, now installation is complete, so click on next and exit. Okay, so now 
we will not be running the SSL license manager. So I will stop this one, okay? And uh, close. Okay, stop and then close. Okay, before we uh, go further, the next step that is most important step uh, is that now uh, again you will use the option in the Windows uh, security and uh, again I am still I, I didn't close the, uh, the security tab. So you have to again click on add an exclusion and again the folder but this time you have to exclude the uh, your ANSYS folder. So from program files you have to go to ANSYS and simply click on the select. So what does it mean? It means that whatever files we copy them inside uh, those folders will not be scanned by your uh, antivirus. Okay, they will be excluded. So what happens actually is that sometimes uh, antivirus, especially the Windows Bit Defender, uh, they they assume that uh, these files are the, actually the viruses. Okay, and they will delete them. So if you if you exclude them, this they, they will not actually approach to those files, and they, those files will not, will not be deleted. So this is a very important step. Okay, after that, I will go to the like uh, on the SSL license manager uh, settings, and if you cannot like access that one, it is closed. Then you can access by clicking the uh, first few letters like ANSYS. So you will see the first option, ANSYS license management center. So click here. And the first thing you have to see is the get system host ID information. Okay. So copy the MAC address. Copy. And uh, you have to go to the your main important folder here. Okay. Here and uh, click on double click on license file and uh, whatever is written uh, with the X symbol. So uh, like a select them, right click on there and paste with uh, your uh, MAC address okay and now uh, make the like a file menu and then save as and go to C folder C folder program files and ANSYS folder save here because I already installed the ANSYS, license, ANSYS uh, software on my computer so this file already exists here so just replace okay okay now the next steps are here given here so we have to like uh, now uh, go to the license management center and uh, you have to add a license file okay and uh, look for the your uh, license file once you open it if the if you didn't install already because I, I already installed the license file that's why it is saying that this is identical to the current license file but if not then it will give you option to install a license file so click on there okay click on there very much and then it will install the license file it will give you a message then you have to go to the view status, start, stop, license manager and click on the start. Okay, make sure that the license uh, uh, process is running here. Okay, then simply close. And as per, so right now we, we are done with the SM number up to SM number 8. So now we have to install the ANSYS products. Okay. And for that, I will go again. Go back to the my first uh, disk here. That is like a virtual disk. And double click on setup. And this time, click on install ANSYS products. And please uh, follow the steps as I am telling you. Uh, in a like a very uh, rigorous way uh, as as I am saying otherwise you you may not be able to install the answers correctly okay then click on the next my working directory is this one uh, if you want to install some other drive you can like a change from here so then after that click on the next uh, I don't install the like a discovery okay uh, I don't require that one. You can like uh, uncheck the options like uh, optical. Okay. Uh, in the structures, uh, this I think already installed. That's why it's gray option. Otherwise, it it will give you option to uh, unselect them. So right now the blue ones I can actually unselect. Okay. So I spec uh, I don't want. Okay. So actually. Uh, because I already installed the my ANSYS, that's why it is uh, showing you the uh, zero MB. Otherwise, uh, it should be giving you some some MBs there, some GBs. 
uh, most probably like a 20 GB like that okay so let's install the one app here okay next uh, I don't want to uh, install the cat geometry interfaces right now I will ma manually set them up so you have to say uh, select the no script configuration I will configure later and click on next and next okay it will install the answers uh, it will take 20 30 minutes and meanwhile uh, it may require to insert the uh, the different drive like maybe h maybe j and again maybe g okay and these drive names driver name drive names will be different on your computer okay maybe or may may or may not be different on your computer so be careful okay so now it requires second uh, disk so go to the like uh, next one is a h click and select folder and click on okay if not then go for next one that is the uh, drive j on my computer it can be different on your your computer okay and then the again the g1 click on okay okay now give the another one so this like uh, from uh, among three one will work okay definitely one will work okay so now the uh, solution is complete 100 percent so click on next and uh, exit okay so the next step is that uh, you have to like again open the license uh, installation procedure readme file so you have to create an environment variable so i will type uh, in the in, in the in the search bar the ei ei e n uh, v and the basic uh, command that i want to use is the add the system uh, and environment system and environment variables so this will give you option here directly or you can access that one from the control panel as well okay then i will click on the environment uh, variables and uh, you have to create the user variable and also system variables so click on new uh, i already have that uh, uh, variable here but the procedure is that you have to copy before the is equal to sign okay uh, put here and then the next value the value is the 1005 at the local host so copy that one in the variable value and click on okay okay similarly you have to uh, copy the variable value and the command that is the ansys license file and uh, paste here so same procedure for both variables user variable and system variable okay so i already have this variable here with my in my computer so click on okay and exit but you have to like uh, put there okay then we have to uh, run the solid squad uh, load uh, loader and enabler so that is inside the uh, that main folder okay this is over here so double click here and this will just modify the registry entry so this will actually install the ansys in a proper way and you know what i mean okay so because of the policies of the youtube i cannot say uh, everything uh, in a very open way okay so you must understand what i'm saying okay uh, then you have to like uh, uh, original ansys, uh, ansys inc folder uh, with this folder okay so i will go to the ansys inc folder so this folder contains that these two uh, working directories so i will copy them uh, second way is that you can directly copy the ansys inc folder okay but for that you have to like a uh, paste them inside the directly inside the program files but here because i copied inside contents i will go into ansys inc folder right click here and paste so because already i have the, these folders but again for just showing you that the procedure i am again re, uh, uh, actually overwriting these uh, over uh, uh, i am just uh, overwriting these uh, folders with the new ones okay okay so uh, this is also done then you have to like a reboot after that you have to go to ansys license client settings after rebooting so i will go there and that is inside the your uh, ansys folder okay from the apps start menu apps click here and it's the uh, ansys license settings okay because this is my server this is my own computer this is not a li client license so that's why i'm use going to use the uh, main license setting this is actually a my computer is a server also okay so click here the procedure is this one 
so license servers uh, it should be working okay and enable should be enabled and here is the disabled okay and click on test and the value should be 1005 localhost and green tick should appear here okay the second thing is that you have to click on the license server uh, service priority and make sure that the flexnet publisher is on the top okay if not then you can like uh, take it in this way okay so it should be on the top next thing is that uh, HPC uh, that is the high performance computing priority so again the uh, I will tell you that which one should be there so answers HPC pack should be on the top if not then take it top and like this okay so once this is done uh, I will check the if the license was installed correctly and the license and the answer was installed correctly uh, I have the very few quick checks number one is that I will open the ICM CFD because ICM CFD is a part of the ANSYS professional so this should be there and it's not available in the student version okay so this should open without any problems no license problem this is the one of the quickest way to check that the license is working or not and secondly the software was installed properly or not so close this one open the Fluent. Fluent also is a very quick to check the license problems and the installation problems click on start and third one that I will check is the workbench so if there are some problem the workbench will also uh, will not give you all the options so workbench also you can check so these are three quick checks that I actually make so workbench will not give you the like in the tree outline there will be limited software installed if the software was not installed correctly or license server was not installed correctly so you can see that the now fluent is working fine there is no license problem okay so everything is all right so you can close and the last thing is the your workbench so workbench should show you all the apps which whatever you installed like uh, uh, cfd apps there is a like uh, i spec so these should show on the your screen otherwise the software installation problem is there so you can see that every app is uh, available here is uh, present here so workbench also working fine so it means that uh, we installed the as a software along with the uh, license correctly okay so i hope that you will enjoy and uh, also enjoy the latest version of the answers thank you very much